What's up everybody? This is the Asian video gamer here today with another playing session of Dark Souls 2. Today I'm gonna be showing like a path that I used to farm uh Dragon Airy. Uh it's the really really uh best place to farm for uh upgrade materials in this game. It has like I think nine or ten crystal lizards in this one area and only like what seven enemies although three of them is like dragons and those guys are not really hard but they're pain in the ass to kill it does take a little bit of time here I sh I'm, I'm showcasing how I'm dealing with the first dragon uh, if you follow this path that uh, I'm taking then you'll you'll see like it goes through all the areas and goes through and you can pick up whatever souls you want uh, pick up whatever treasure you want. Um, let me uh, try to speed this up for the first kill because all I'm doing is just shoot and then duck and cover, shoot, duck and cover, shoot, duck and cover. I'm using a poison poison uh, arrows, by the way. So it it's gonna take a while. Yep. So why is this place such a good place to farm? Well, Instead of using your souls to buy the Titanite shards, Titanite slab, Titanite twinkling Titanites, um, here there's like a bunch of uh, crystal lizards that drops them for you, and it's quite ridiculous the amount that you can get from just one playthrough. And since crystal lizards don't respawn after you kill them the first time, you have to use bonfire aesthetics. And it resets the entire place, but that's okay. Because these dragons are really not that difficult. Even though I'm taking a couple shots here and there. But they're really not that hard. And they do drop some petrified uh, so stones, so they're pretty useful. So usually what I um, do for crystal lizards is... Um, use magic on them, because they're a pain in the ass. If you try to hit them with... Uh, weapons they, they usually miss so after you fill uh, you kill the first dragon just pick up all the loot around there and then there should be one up to the left here inside that little cave there should be one crystal lizard and uh, you're gonna see that these guys are actually quite annoying to hit if you were using a pierce weapon or thrust weapon you're not gonna hit it Hitting it with like any slash weapon would be best, but they move so fast that you gotta get like a fast, really fast, uh, fast speed weapon to in order to hit it, which is a pain. Trust me, this game for some reason like the crystal lizards are really fast, and they're pain in the ass to kill. Right here, there's a treasure, but don't get it yet because there's a uh, one of these assholes there. If you go get it. This guy will fall on you. But the the main problem with these guys is that they only they, they deal like um, equipment damage. They don't actually deal health damage. They just destroy your stuff, which is really annoying. Because I think one one hit from them will destroy your dragon, uh, your second dragon ring or something. And it takes like three thousand souls to repair, which is kind of annoying. I like how like you can uh, in Dark Souls 2 you can use like the life, uh, the ring of life and protection, just just to you know stay human form in this game, and then you can repair it whenever you want. It's just like the ring of sacrifice in uh, Dark Souls, except there's millions of them, and there's nothing that actually breaks permanently in terms of rings. So that's cool. I, I like I like that that uh, aspect of this game because it does keep like people like players in human form more often than not uh, but also it creates like some sort of handicap I guess like it makes the game a little bit easier right now I'm doing the second dragon this guy's a pain in the ass sometimes like uh, 
This guy, I think he killed me the first time, and then... Because that, that fl uh, fr flame breath goes through, like, entire rocks, and goes into the cave, and it hits you twice if you get hit by ones and it pancakes you. It's really annoying. So I'm just gonna speed it up, run, 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 and then play some, uh, play some shots, run back, duck and cover, same thing. So yeah, these guys at Bonfire Intensity 3 gives like 10,000 souls, that's cool. There should be a lot of them here, there should be like, I guess four, maybe? Maybe four, four of them here, or four in the last one, and three in here. I don't know. I, I don't know. This should be like nine to ten in total. So, yeah. Just follow this guy. Keep, keep watching it. If you need to, rewatch it, and you, you should see most of them. It's not a very big area, but it's very, very full of materials and it's so good so I think there's like three here some sometimes these crystal lizards they go inside the freaking rocks and then you can't shoot them you can't hit them and they just get away it's so annoying if they're meant to be farmed then they should just allow us to farm well, I guess it's these crystal lizards are still better than the ones in Demon Souls. Demon Souls, you miss it, that's it. Good, GG. And they actually give you really good stuff. The ones in Dark Souls, they respawn and really not. They, they just give you materials that you can buy with souls, which is not that great, not that useful. Here's the last enemy, the last dragon, and uh, they give you like a perfect spot to snipe it and it can't touch you here like for some reason they just put this dragon here for like what I don't know a nuisance I guess it's it's a pain in the ass if you're a melee character and you have to go in and kill it but for ranged characters like like this one like whatever right it, it can't even touch me I can just stand here all day and just shoot at it These drakes are really easy. In Dark Souls 1, the freaking uh, fire drake in uh, Undead Bird, it's a pain in the ass to kill. Unlike these ones, these ones are really easy to kill. That one in Dark Souls, even if you have like, the best equipment in the world, it's still freaking annoying to kill that thing. Well, not annoying, it's hard. Really hard. So, there's a crystal lizard behind me on this rock and it, it's usually not that hard to get but this time I like I failed like two two shots and you know it's over you won't be able to get it. you got you gotta go rest in the bonfire and come back in this area I think there's only two that one that I missed and this one on the side and yeah that after this one just pick up all the soul items on the ground and you know what? Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. That's how we like it. That's how we farm. You know, we Asian farms. Farmers. Chinese farmers. That's how we farm stuff. Just run around the area, grab all the stuff, grab all the titanites. What the hell? I missed that one. Did I miss that one? Oh man. I don't know. That looks weird. Yeah, I did miss. Oh, I realized I missed it and came back. Dragon charm. <laughs> so yeah, now onto this path. On the left is a uh, rope that you can zip line back to the front. On this side that we're looking at, that's the dragon's shrine. The next area where you have to get to. So that's it. Toodles, guys.